What's up guys, I'm gonna do another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video and today's video we're gonna be going over the January 15th update and what Treyarch has planned for it. So this is a preview as to what this update will contain as well as upcoming features and content that's gonna be coming to Black Ops 4. So on Reddit, Treyarch has talked about what is gonna be coming with the January 15th update for Black Ops 4 and about you know specifically what they're doing for zombies and stuff as well as detailing some upcoming changes and things and you know other content that they're planning on adding into Black Ops 4. So, Turk says, Black Ops 4 gets even bigger next week with our 1.11 update, including new zombies content and double XP promos for our 115 day celebration event on January 15th. Here's a preview of what's coming in all three modes with full patch notes to follow early next week. So for zombies, it is 115 day celebration event with gauntlets and new epic elixirs on PS4 and elixir balancing updates and more. So they say January 15th is 115 day and this year's zombie celebration is bigger than ever. We're kicking off our 115 day celebration event with double XP, double weapon XP, and double Navoleon plasma in zombies starting on 10 a.m. Pacific time on January 15th through January 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific time on all platforms along with the debut of Gauntlets and three new epic elixirs on PS4 and elixir balancing updates. We'll also be testing out some new concoctions in the laboratory over the next coming weeks, so keep an eye out for additional bundles for your newly earned Nebulian Plasma. But that's just the beginning. On Tuesday, we'll have news detailing several features and new content coming to Zombies over the next few months, including a preview of what's already in the works for our 1.12 update for late January. Zombies director Jason Blunda will also be in attendance later in the day, so mark your calendar and clear your schedule. So they say, now to address the 800 pound gr zombie gorilla in the room. What are gauntlets and how do they add to the overall zombies experience? Glad you asked. Gauntlets in Black Ops 4 Zombies are curated 30 round challenges with unique rules for each round, kicking off with unsinkable in Voyage of Despair. Players will receive bronze, silver, and gold medals and special tier based rewards upon completing rounds 10, 20, and 30, as well as a unique reward and bragging rights for completing round 30 without failing a round. Players will also earn bonus Nebulian Plasma rewards when reaching each new milestone for the first time, so it pays to give every gauntlet run your best shot. Rules can vary wildly round to round, ranging from weapon restrictions and time limitations to area defense challenges with dangerous enemy modifiers and everything in between. If you and your crew fail to complete a round as instructed, you'll earn a strike. If you receive three strikes, it's game over and you'll have to start from round one again. While getting to round 10 will prove challenging for casual players, completing all 30 rounds will test even the most seasoned zombies veterans and only the best of the best will emerge victorious with no downs or strikes. Because we've also designed Gauntlets to be endlessly replayable in a competitive setting, the rules for each of the 30 rounds are permanently set and all Gauntlet matches are timed. So we expect to see some incredible speed runs from the community long after you've achieved your first gold medal. Unsinkable in Voyage of Despair is just the first of many Gauntlets to come in 2019, each with their own set of new challenges to master. Let us know what you think when this new feature launches next week on PS4, We'll also have more details to share on our three new epic elixirs, existing elixir balance updates, and some additional surprises on 115 day. For Blackout, they have the improved looting interface on consoles and new limited time modes. Treyarch says, this update also delivers our new looting interface to Blackout on consoles, allowing players to scroll quickly through a multi-grow grid, loot the items they're looking for, and get back into the action as quickly as possible. This should also alleviate some other interface issues that console players have experienced in the past. We're excited to hear what you think when the update drops next week. We've also got two new limited time modes coming soon to Blackout starting next week. We'll have all the details on what each of these new modes brings to the game in an upcoming update, plus a reveal of more Blackout news coming soon. And lastly, for multiplayer, Treyarch says uh, that the Blackout's past maps are going to be in the full rotation and featured playlist updates as well as they're setting the stage for league play. They say, with the upcoming 1.11 update, Elevation and Madagascar will be added to full map rotation for Black Ops Pass holders, including hardcore playlists. Moving forward, we'll add new multiplayer maps into the full rotation as they're released. Speaking of playlist updates, we'll have a fresh batch of rotating featured playlists coming into multiplayer with 1.11, along with additional stability fixes and other quality of life improvements. Stay tuned for next week's patch notes for all the details. 
This update will also help to set the stage for League Play's launch by the end of January, which we announced in our community update on January 8th. I made a video about this. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys can check out the link on screen or in the uh, end card to check out that video that I talked about League Play. It's a watch for more details on League Play as we get closer to launching the World League Hub and tune in the CWL Pro League qualifiers on January 16th through 20th to watch all the action unfold as 28 teams compete to secure their place in the Black Ops 4 Pro League at twitch.tv slash Call of Duty. So that is everything uh, that is going to be coming with this update. This is all we know about it so far uh, is that it's going to be a huge, huge Zombies one. And I'm honestly actually kind of really excited for this because the Zombies community has been pretty vocal about how they feel that they uh, haven't been uh, you know, treated fairly and that the Zombies community has been neglected in Black Ops 4 so far and that Treyarch has been focusing primarily on blackout and then multiplayer and then zombies last um but now i mean this whole event is specific for zombies so the whole thing for you know 115 day that's going to be coming out on tuesday is specific just for zombies basically i mean it, it does have some other stuff you know added in for multiplayer and i'm sure it'll have bug fixes and you know other patches and stuff you know going out for multiplayer and blackout but this is primarily a zombies thing it comes out with a brand new mode which should be really cool to play because i mean i love classic zombies classic zombies is always fun but i've also been loving rush but rush you know can kind of get boring with just the five maps and so now we have another mode for us to play in black ops 4 zombies to hopefully you know hold us over until we get our sixth map our dlc 2 in black ops 4 zombies so uh, we also get new elixirs like they said and they're gonna be you know testing out some new concoctions and stuff Plus, we get double XP, double weapon XP, and double Napoleon Plasma, and this is only for zombies. We don't get double XP or double weapon XP in multiplayer, you know, through this, this week, so it'll be going from Tuesday until Friday. We're not getting double XP or double weapon XP in multiplayer or double merits in uh, Blackout or any of that stuff. This is only for zombies, so I think it is a really good thing uh, that they're doing this, and it really kind of shows that they do care about the community and that they're trying to, you know, make things great. Um, they also said, I uh, just kind of kind of want to, you know, summarize it a little bit and go back over some, a few things, is that they're saying that they have uh, new content and, you know, new features that they're going to be detailing. They're going to be coming to Zombies over the next few months. So they already say that they have a preview of what's already in the works for their 1.12 update. So the 1.12 update, as far as we know, it will include League Play, and they have that scheduled for late January. So I would expect it probably like, you know, maybe a over a, well over a week after uh, we get this update on Tuesday on the 15th. So my guess is it's, I mean, it could be on the 22nd, but I highly doubt. My guess is it would either be on something like, like say like the 26th or something like that, or it could even be all the way, you know, at the 29th on the last Tuesday in January, because technically it's late January. So, I mean, they could do that, but uh, the 1.12 update looks like it's going to be a pretty big update with league play and a whole bunch of you know competitive things for multiplayer as well as apparently some more zombies content and stuff as well too. So that's really exciting. Really happy about that. Gauntlets looks like a really fun mode. It will be coming first to PlayStation 4 and then just as you know all other content normally does, it'll be coming to Xbox and PC a week later. So on the 22nd of January is when Xbox and PC will finally get the, the new gauntlet mode as well as these new elixirs. So I'm excited that they're adding in three new epic elixirs. That'll be pretty cool, as well as this double XP, double up and XP, and double Napoleon Plasma. So if you guys you know are on that grind for Mass Prestige and Black Ops 4 Zombies, uh, this week is the time to do it. Hurry and hop into Black Ops 4 Zombies because you're going to be able to play this new mode on PS4 as well as rank up really quickly and rank up a lot of those weapons and hopefully get that uh, prestigious award trophy slash achievement too since you'll have double weapon xp and be able to rank up those weapons really quickly and be able to get uh, you know max level or prestige with those weapons and i mean even combined too like all these things together double xp and double weapon xp you get to rank up so quick and rank up tons of weapons and stuff so it's really great um i really quickly on for my channel i just want to point out that i will likely be doing another prestige in one game uh stream video uh, sometime this week. So make sure you guys uh, are, you know, staying tuned for that. That'll be a really good time since we'll have double XP and double weapon XP. It'll be really good, really easy to rank up. And yeah, so let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below about that. If you guys want to see that stream and you're excited about that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, there you guys go. That is the, uh, the preview of what's going to be coming on January 15th in the update. Uh, once we actually get the update, I will, you know, be sure to bring you guys the patch notes as quickly as we can and let you guys know what has changed with Black Ops 4. So 
you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.